So, do you remember the 8 inch stem cutting that we had to cut into 2 inches? Well, about a week ago, my mom checked on it, on its spot, and it felt really soft. So it felt like it had root rot again. So we so we decided to throw it away. Gone forever. Bye. And guess what? Some something amazing happened. It was a miracle. Our eight inch our eight inch monster delicioso that got cut into two inches has life now. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm Sam from Among Serna, also known as the Plant Kiddo from the Philippines. But before we proceed with our video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what our next video should be all about. And watch some of our previous videos. So today's topic is all about Legit Ba Ang Monstera Deliciosa sa Shopee Part 2. So, uh, about three days ago, our newest stem cutting, it got a root rot. It was really soft. It was really soft and it felt really hollow. So, when we opened it up, we, it was soft until, until the core and the inside was already black. It's really sad because we were expecting it to grow. Loco. Ew. Ew. So it's already rotten. That's the one that's dead. Yes. It's rotten. The latest monster is just mm -hmm. stem cutting. It it's won't sad. survive. Hmm? It's rotten and it's black. All black. And we didn't even notice. Yeah. Oh no. It's already hollow in the middle. Yeah. Hmm? It can break na easily. Mm -hmm. hmm? This won't survive already. Yeah. It's hollow no? That's sad. Mm -hmm. hmm? hey. It's hollow? Are you getting a picture of it? No, video. A video? Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna throw it away. Bye, Monstera! So, do you remember the 8 inch stem cutting that we had to cut into 2 inches? Well, about a week ago, my mom checked on it, on its spot, and it felt really soft. So, it felt like it had root rot again. So we, so, we decided to throw it away. Gone forever. Bye. So, we gave it to our papa and said to him, there's no way it's growing back. It feels like it has root rot now. So little did we know that our papa placed the monstera stem cutting here in the backyard. This is our backyard where we're filming right now. He, he placed it in the pot where there was originally the Prince of Orange was. Then he gently placed it inside on top of the soil. So yesterday, while my papa was making this table right here, his usual routine is checking on all the plants to see if they're fine, if one if one of them needs watering. And guess what? Some something amazing happened. It was a miracle. Our eight inch our eight inch monster delicioso that got cut into two inches has life now. It actually made when we've given up, we were so happy to discover this. It was like an amazing discovery for us.
It grew on a stem that was at least half an inch. It also has a tiny root. One tiny root there. Or Montea has a stem cutting here. I cannot show this to you because it's really delicate. By the way, we're filming this video while it's raining wow. for you, guys. So the difference between this the now and before was the location. So the problem was on our balcony, it was really, really hot there. So our Monsera Deliciosa stem cutting wasn't, was getting direct talaga light. But it, since we moved it here, it's not... Even though it's bright, it doesn't get direct sunlight because there's lots of trees here and it was also under a lady palm. This location is actually where the sun rises so there, and once it, begin, it begins to set, it completely gets covered by our house. But it also gets bright but not, but not direct light, it's indirect. So it's the perfect living conditions for our Monster Delicioso. It's also very humid here because it always rains much and the drain pipes, they lead down here. So it's basically like a rainforest. And we have lots of plants here because we couldn't accommodate them inside our house. But little did we know that this is actually a plant's haven for them. And lesson number two is Never give up because you will never you'll never know what will happen. You'll be surprised of what will happen, what your plants will do. Like if you, for example, you you think your plant's gonna die, don't give up on it. So look for an area that isn't sunny and hot and really hot, and dig a soil that's really healthy. Who knows? They might your plants might surprise you, just like what happened with us. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe and share this to your friends and family members. It really motivates us to make more videos about plant care tips for you guys. Subscribe! And also leave a like to our video. Share, share it with the other people. Don't forget the three, the three free petonias. Bye. <laughs> Watch out for our future video because we are gonna decorate this evergreen and make it our Christmas tree for this year. We have a plastic Christmas tree that we that we use, but my mama didn't really didn't like using it. But now we have this to use, so we are gonna decorate this for the holidays. Watch out for that video. <laughs>